Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this video, I will show you how to customize Windows 10 start menu. The Windows 10 start menu differs quite a bit from its predecessors. That's because it's designed for both a desktop PC and a touch screen tablet. The start menu leaps up with a list of your apps and programs and splits itself between two columns, names of apps on the left, and tiles of apps on the right. Looking here at the left column are the recently added apps followed by the most used and next is the lists of all apps or programs installed in the system arranged alphabetically. Here in the lower left edge, shows the username, file explorer, settings, and power icon. By clicking on the user account name, a drop-down menu lets you change your account settings, lock your computer, sign out, or let somebody else log in while the file explorer shows the location of your files and folders. The settings button lets you configure your system settings. And the power button give three options of turning off the computer. Now let's start customizing our start menu. To customize your start menu, follow these steps. First step, changing the size of the start menu. Click on the start menu button. Then move the cursor to the top edge of the start menu so your cursor looks like a double-sided arrow. Then click and drag up, down, left or right to resize the start menu then release. Second step, enabling full screen mode. Click on the start menu button. Click on settings. Click on personalization. Click on start. Then click on the switch below the use start full screen heading. Going back to the start menu, now you can see that it is switched to full screen. But for now I will go back to the settings and switch it off. Third step, adding tiles for apps, programs, and folders. Here in the left column, just right click the item you want to appear on the start menu, then choose pin to start. Repeat until you've added all of the items you want. From the desktop, Right click desired items and choose pin to start. Newly attached items appear at the start menu's bottom right corner. Fourth step, removing tiles you don't need. Right click the icon you want to remove then choose unpin from start from the pop up menu. Choosing unpin from start doesn't uninstall the app or program, removing the tile merely removes that item's start button from the start menu. Fifth step, how to change the size of tiles. Click on the start menu. Right click on the application you want to resize. Click on resize. Click on the option you want either small, medium, wide or large. Sixth step, how to turn off live tiles. Live tiles are the tiles that show information on them while in the start menu. It almost looks like a slideshow and if you don't like this feature, you can turn it off. To do this, follow these steps. Click on the start menu. Right click on the live tile you want to turn off. Click on more. Click on turn live tile off. Seventh step, moving related tiles next to each other. To move an app to a new location, Point with your mouse and then hold down your left mouse button as you drag the tile to the desired spot. As you drag the tile, other tiles automatically move out of the way to make room for newcomer. 8th step, changing the color of the start menu. Click on the start menu. Click on settings. Click on personalization. Click on colors. Then click on the color you want. If the color you prefer is not in the options, you can set the color here in the custom color below. Let's click done and go back to start menu, now you can see that the new color settings take effect. But for now, I will go back to color settings and return to default blue. Next step, adding folders to the left margin of start menu. On the left margin of the start menu, you can add certain Windows 10 folders to show up there, making it quicker to access them. To add folders to the start menu, follow these steps. Click on the start menu. Click on settings. Click on personalization. Click on start. Click on choose which folders appear on start. 
Then click on the switch under the folder you want to add. Let's say documents and pictures. Here in the start menu, you can see that the folders are added. And for our last step, creating and or renaming a group. When you start adding a new tile, Windows automatically position that tile on a new group leaving the group name blank. After that, you can type the name of the new group. Going back to our third step, we just pinned or created new tile but we didn't give a name, now we'll name it as my folder. And to edit the name of a group, just double click on the group name, and now it's ready for modification, let's say I will name it my tools. And that's it, we're done. This covers customizing start menu in Windows 10. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great tutorials. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.